this tutorial, we're going to talk about transitions. This is a really neat thing that pretty much any good PowerPoint presentation uses transitions well. Uh, as you can see, our template right here has been switched up quite a bit, uh, and I've added some new slides. I haven't put any content on most of them. Uh, it's more of just I switch the layout up a little bit so you can see how the transitions work. So to start working with transitions, what you're going to want to do is come up to the ribbon where it says, says transitions and then just start picking out which ones you would like to apply. And so for me personally and for a lot of best practices when it comes to PowerPoint, I personally like to find one transition and just stick with that one uh, just because the more transitions you use in the same PowerPoint it just starts to look very unprofessional. So um, typically I like to pick one out, stick with that one. Um, every once in a while you may find a, a, a reason to use a couple different ones or two or so but uh, for the most part you're going to want to stick with the same one. Um, so first thing you're going to do is click on a slide and you, it transitions is already selected up here and you can just click on one of these transition options and it gives you a short preview of what it looks like so there's a push there's a wipe split a reveal random bars shape uh, for some of these also you can come to effect options for this one specifically say that you wanted to do a diamond shape there it switched it from a circle over to a diamond and each one of these when I click uncover you can see now effect options I can do uncover from right I can do it from top from left from bottom and click that there to preview it. Now when I click any of these this is actually selecting whatever this transition is so um, just make sure you're aware of that this isn't just previewing it if I want um, and you can even tell if you come here on the left hand side look at this little uh, star icon that means that the animations there and if you click it it'll actually preview it for you. Uh, if you click this box right here and you'll pop up all the different transitions uh, that you have so you could do things like conveyor uh, you can let's see can do combination I don't really like that one cube gallery gallery is a pretty popular one uh, and then like I said each one of these you can customize say you want that gallery going to the right or to the left you can switch that up uh, you can also add sounds um, I personally have never found one time or one instance I ever needed to use a sound um, but if you care to you can do that um, you can also switch up the duration so this is a helpful thing so let's preview that gallery again you see right now that took 1.6 seconds. If we want to slow it up a little bit and switch it to 2, now hit preview. You can see it slowed down just by a little bit, by 4 tenths of a second. Um, so that's a way you can you know, be really nice and flexible with it. Uh, some of the other options you can do for transitions, say that you have something you want working more like a movie than a... Um, uh, than uh, actual presentation. So say that you want to present it and upload it to YouTube or something like that where it plays just more like a video. You can click right here and select the amount of time on every transition you want for it to go to the next slide. So for a good example of that I'll show you how it normally is. And first we'll pick out one transition um, that's going to rule them all for us. Uh, let's see, I think I'm going to go with reveal. And so I'm going to click reveal and then click apply to all. So now if you look here on the left hand side, each one of the slides has reveal by it. Now coming up here, 
to start from the beginning and remember I put this in in the beginning um, you can also go to slideshow from the beginning or click F5 so you can see that's the way the transition looks if I click the mouse you'll go to the next one I can also use the arrow keys and you can see that that neat reveal transition has been applied to every one of the slides. It gives it a really nice professional look and feel and um, I like the way that turned out. Now, and especially when that's content, that's, I put these in just so you could see that it was changing. Now, another thing you can do, and to go back to transitions, just come back over here and you can see it saved everything say that we want to make this more like a movie so this is going to be some video you're going to upload you can select a certain t amount of time so we'll give it three seconds just for the sake of brevity uh, select three seconds and now you're not even going to have to click anything it'll play automatically so we'll come up hit start slideshow and now after three seconds it will automatically transition into the next one. You can see I'm not clicking the mouse, I'm not clicking any arrow keys, it's playing completely by itself. This is a great thing to do, uh, like I said, if you're wanting to create your own tutorial videos or you know something like that and you're wanting to use PowerPoint in order to do that, um, it's a great way of, um, of applying those. Now make sure when you make those changes, you can see that that happened automatically, but if I go to one of these other ones, if you look up here, it didn't happen. And it's because that only makes the change to that one slide. So say that you were wanting it to happen with all of them, click on one slide, come down to the bottom, hit shift, click all the way on six, and now you can see all of them are selected. And we want this to play like a movie every three seconds and so we'll come up hit start from the beginning and now every three seconds it's going to transition from one slide to the next one so there's our first one there's our second slide and now here's our third one and it'll just keep on going all the way until the slide is finished so that's a really neat way to i'm going to take that off for future episodes uh, just because we don't want that auto plane but uh, that's a great way of creating an automatic scrolling uh, PowerPoint presentation so you now know how to create edit manage and do everything you need to with uh, transitions in PowerPoint please let me know if you have any questions at all on how to further customize that